Representative Crane from the great state of Arizona for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Whitson, in your opinion, sir, why is the SBA involved itself in election process and registering voters in swing states? Uh, thank you for that question. So this is part of the executive order. It commanded every single federal agency to take part in this whole of government, get out the vote effort to benefit the Biden administration. And so SBA is one of those tools. And so Michigan, as we mentioned, it's well known fact that it's a key battleground state. And so it doesn't require a lot of votes to make a significant impact. And right. So that's right. What, it appears what does the SBA stand for, Mr. Woodson? Do you know? It's the Small Business Administration. Do you find that odd that the Small Business Administration is involved in getting out the vote in a state that President Biden is down in and ap absolutely needs to win to stay president? Absolutely. Yeah. You said that there's other government agencies doing this as well, Mr. Woodson. Can you go over those real quick? Yes, so again, that's the Health and Human Services has transformed more than 1,400 federally qualified health centers located in states across the country into voter registration hubs. You got the Department of Labor has turned more than 2,300 American job centers, again, scattered across the country into voter registration hubs. USDA, Department of Education is allowing federal work study funds to go to college students to become an army of workers for left-wing groups engaging in voter registration activity again, in strongholds where there's more Democrat votes than there are Republican. So yeah. the list goes on. Imagine that. Um, you also said uh, this was more alarming than the Zuckerbuck scheme by the Democrats back in 2020. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, so I think that scheme offers the perfect illustrative example of what's going on here. And so Zuckerbuck's people could look at it on the surface and say, this looks funny, but it was only until after the election when you could, we could go in, FGA went in, and we got the exact numbers of where money went, which counties and what amounts that we could have the, the proof. And so this is that same scheme, but instead of $400 million, it is the unlimited funding, resources, reach, and power of the federal government and its agencies in every state. So it's Zuckerbuck yeah. on steroids. And we don't even know how much they're spending yet, do we? Because they won't be transparent about it, right? That's exactly right. That's what I thought. Ms. Morales, why do you think the SBA is involving itself in, um, I'm sorry, Mr. Morales, why do you think the SBA isn't involving itself in your state in Indiana? Well, they're not involving Indiana. I wish they had come uh, to my state and talked to me. I, like I say, I would love to work with them when it comes specifically with businesses. Yeah. Helping our Hoosier <laughs> business. Yeah, they seem to have forgotten that that's their main focus. But I'll tell you, sir, the reason they're not involving your, themselves in your state is because I checked and your state is a Republican plus like 11 state. So it's a Republican state. That's why they're not. You're not a swing state. That's why they're not involving themselves there. Um, do you believe this is election interference, uh, Miss Elaine Parker? I do believe it's election interference when you're going into a targeted area of state um, to uh, register people uh, for election. But again, I believe that the SBA should be focused on the small business and advocating for small businesses within the administration. There's a regulatory onslaught that's happening against our small businesses, it disproportionately hurts them, and that's what the SBA should be focused on is protecting Absolutely. their interests. Absolutely. We've got rising inflation, right? Overregulation, real disposable income down 7.5%, 21% increase in credit card interest rates. Um, but according to uh, Tyler Robinson, who happens to be the special advisor to Administrator Guzman, uh, Robinson claims in a video, this is him saying it, not me, that SBA Administrator Guzman is the most traveled cabinet member, visits battleground states with Democrat members of Congress to help them and Biden get reelected, and that she indirectly campaigns for the president by announcing or highlighting investments in certain communities by the Biden-Harris administration to sway support. But our Democrat colleagues will have you uh, try and convince you to believe this stuff isn't even going on. It's unbelievable. I've heard from the other side today that the act of voter registration, it's not partisan. We all heard that, right? The, the, the act of voting, that's not partisan either, right? We heard that. Well, is it when you're targeting blue Democrat-run cities, counties, municipalities, is that partisan? What do you think, uh, Mr. Winstrom? Uh, it absolutely is. And so it's, it's what campaigns do, right? Yeah. Campaigns engage and get out the vote efforts, and they don't try to get out the vote of every kind of voter. They try to get out the vote of the voters that will put them in office. And so that's the problem is now the federal executive branch is engaging this, a federal executive branch led 
by a, pers- a member of one political party is using that apparatus to engage in a get out the vote scheme. To yeah, and imagine that. And, and we hear it from the other side about, oh, this is undermining democracy and bipartisanship. Are you kidding me? You guys just tried to put your number one political opponent, President Trump, in jail, right? That's what you're trying to do right now. And now this. And it's just a cu- it's just a couple different things. We're not buying any of it, okay? I yield back, Mr. Chairman.